Today's class is about carboxylic acid derivatives, of which there are four or five. Um, here's a typical carboxylic acid. R stands for any alkyl group that you could stick on there. We have acyl halides that can have fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine in this position. They're used very often as synthetic intermediates. For example, uh, billions of kilograms of um, the iodine containing form of this acetic acid derivative is used every year to make acetic acid. Um, carboxylic anhydrides are the result of reacting two carboxylic acids and removing water to form the anhydride. Esters are used by are made by combining an alcohol with a carboxylic acid to form the ester. Esters are used as flavoring agents and they're used in perfumery as well. And then of course amides form the backbone of proteins. We'll see a little bit of that as we go through all the different examples. We see how, how amino acids form amide bonds to make proteins. All amino acids have um, an amino group and a carboxylic acid group and an R group in the middle. On the carbon that connects the amino group and the carboxylic acid group, there's always an R group. Um, and there are about 21 different amino acids in the human body. Interestingly, all the amino acids in the, that form proteins in the human body are left-handed, uh, meaning that they, um, if you have two variants of the same molecule, say like you have a left hand and a right hand, you have a left hand and a right hand, they look identical, they look like mirror images, but if you try to superimpose them, they're going to be uh, non-superimposable. The thumbs appear on the wrong end. That's called an antimerism. That's something you learn in organic chemistry one or two. Uh, continuing with the nomenclature of acyl chlorides, we add oil to the skeleton name. When another functional group takes priority, we use number chlorocarbonyl. So, for example, this would be a four carbon chain with a chlorine there, so we call it butan oil chloride. In this molecule, we have a carboxylic acid on this end and um, a a bromine on that end, so we call it 6-bromocarbonyl hexanoic acid. Let's pause it there. Let's